So instead of guessing value for x, let's do what mathematics always rewards, which is clean algebra. We want to get rid of the denominators so the equation becomes easy to work with. And to do that, we multiply both sides of the equation by x squared and also by 81. This way, nothing is broken and nothing is changed. We are simply clearing the fractions. When we do that, the left side becomes 81 multiplied by 81, and the right side becomes x squared multiplied by x squared. And this immediately simplifies the equation to 81 squared equals x to the power of 4. Now pause for a moment and appreciate how clean that looks, because what started as a fraction problem has now turned into a simple power equation. At this point, if you are learning something new from this explanation and it's starting to make sense, Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps more people see clear and simple math like this. And now, let's continue solving without breaking the flow. 81 squared is 6,561, but we don't even need the decimal value yet because 81 itself is already a perfect square. 81 is 9 squared, so 81 squared is actually 9 to the power of 4. That means our equation becomes 9 to the power of 4 equals x to the power of 4. And now something very important happens here. If two numbers raised to the same power are equal, then the bases themselves must be equal in magnitude. This tells us that x must be either positive 9 or negative 9, because both positive 9 and negative 9, when raised to the fourth power, give the same result. This is where many people make a mistake. They rush and say x is 9 and stop there, but mathematics does not reward rushing. It rewards completeness. Because the power on x is an even power, both positive and negative values will work. So x equals 9 is a solution, and x equals negative 9 is also a solution. And we can quickly check this to be sure. If we substitute x equals 9 into the original equation, 81 divided by 9 squared gives 81 over 81, which is 1. And on the other side, 9 squared over 81 is also 1, so it works perfectly. If we substitute x equals negative 9, negative 9 squared is still 81, and the exact same thing happens again. Both sides are equal, which confirms that both values satisfy the equation. So the final answer is clear x equals 9, or x equals negative 9. If this explanation helped you understand the problem easily, Make sure to like this video and drop a comment, share your thoughts or questions. I'd really love to hear from you.